Hi, it's Peter from the DevRel team at R3. In our previous quarter token SDK workshop, we introduced you the package and went through a technical breakdown of it. We explained how you can use quarter token SDK to create a digital representation of asset ownership or to create a bare instrument to represent liability between issuer and owner. In today's short video, I will show you how to upgrade your existing Quad apps with Quad Token SDK. We will go through the Quad app enhancement with our signature Yo Quad app. At the end of this tutorial, we will have a Quad app that can send both fungible and non fungible tokens to the counterparty. The code for this tutorial will be in the description of this video. Let's begin. The first step is to add dependencies. We will make modification for three build.gradle files. The first one is project level build.gradle, and then the other two are sub level build.gradle files in both workflow and contract folder. In the project level build.gradle, inside of the build script property, enter the extra session, add the required token dependencies. Secondly, scroll down a little bit to the all projects property, and the repository, add the Maven path, continue to the dependency property add the token package in the format of a core app, and finally, add the token dependency to the deploy node task. We will then move to the build.gradle in the workflow folders and add the token workflow package. We will do the same for the build.gradle in the contract folder. For that one, we will add the token contract. The second step we need to do is to define the token type state. As we introduced in our previous token workshop, there are two types of tokens predefined in the token SDK, the fungible tokens and the non-fungible tokens. And for each type of the token, we can again mark them as evolvable token or fixed token, where the evolvable ones can be updated after creation. The evolvable ones are the most common category because tokenized assets normally carries a lot of information, and this information should be able to get updated at a later time. For the token enhancement of this Yo Core app, we will define two tokens. One is to demo the fungible tokens, and the other one is to demo the non fungible tokens. The third step is to modify the contract. As we recall, each quarter state is corresponded with one contract, and since the token type state are still a quarter contract state, as you can imagine, they will need contracts too. We will create two token contracts accordingly. In contrast with the traditional contract, the token contract does not have the command interface because all the possible actions on the tokens are predefined in the SDK. However, we have two additional validations that we can implement. These checks are for the creation and updated of the token. Since we are implementing tokens on these simple Yo Core apps, we will leave those checks blank for now. The fourth step is to add and modify flows. In this last step, I will show you how to create, issue, and move tokens. This is where we can primarily benefit from the SDK because all of the functions are already implemented for you. We will create a method called create and issue fungible yo. Inside of that flow, we will first define the token type state which in this case is the yo token fungible. Then we will use the prebuild function to create the token type state. Next, we will try to build some fungible tokens based on this token type state and issue them to our counterparty. We can simply build the fungible tokens using the SDK fungible token builder. We just need to specify the token type, amount, issuer, and recipient we will have our fungible tokens ready to send. Lastly, we will use the issue token flow to actually send the tokens to the counterparty and update the ledger. That's it for create an issue flow. You see, I'm combining these two actions into one flow for the simplicity of the structure. But in reality, you can separate this into two actions by your app design. We will next demo how to do a token transfer between two parties. First, we will need to query the token out of the database by its unique ID. Then, we will create a new amount object and specify the transferring quantity. Again, we will use the pre-built flow called move fungible tokens to send it to the counterparty. 
That's it for the move action. With Alt above, we just updated our signature Yo Core App to a token Core App. Does this tutorial help you come up with any tokenization ideas? Let us know by comment below. Again, this is Peter from the DevRoute team at R3. I hope to see you at our next video.